In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. O Prophet, fear Allah and hearken not to the unbelievers and the hypocrites. Verily, Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom. But follow that which comes to thee by inspiration from thy Lord. For Allah is well acquainted with all that ye do. And put thy trust in Allah, and enough is Allah as a disposer of affairs. Allah has not made for any man two hearts in his breast. Nor has he made your wives whom ye divorce by Zihar your mothers. Nor has he made your adopted sons your sons. Such is only your manner of speech by your mouths. But Allah tells you the truth, and he shows the right way. Call them by their fathers, that is juster in the sight of Allah. But if ye know not their fathers' names, then they are your brothers in faith, or your friends. But there is no blame on you if ye make a mistake therein. What counts is the intention of your hearts, and Allah is oft returning, most merciful. The Prophet is closer to the believers than their own selves, and his wives are their mothers. Blood relations among each other have closer personal ties in the Book of Allah than the brotherhood of believers and muhajirs. Nevertheless, do ye what is just to your closest friends. Such is the writing in the Book of Allah. And remember, we took from the prophets their covenant, as from thee, from Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus the son of Mary. We took from them a solemn covenant. That Allah may question the truthful about their truthfulness, and he has prepared for the unbelievers a grievous penalty. O ye who believe, remember the grace of Allah bestowed on you when there came down on you hosts to overwhelm you. But we sent against them a hurricane and forces that ye saw not. But Allah sees clearly all that ye do. Behold, they came on you from above you and from below you, and behold, the eyes swerved and the hearts gaped up to the throats, and ye imagined various vain thoughts about Allah. In that situation were the believers tried. They were shaken as by a tremendous shaking. And behold, the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is a disease even say, 
Allah and His Messenger promised us nothing but delusion. Behold, a party among them said, Ye men of Yathrib, ye cannot stand the attack, therefore go back. And a band of them asked for leave of the Prophet, saying, Truly our houses are bare and exposed. Though they were not exposed, they intended nothing but to run away. And if an entry had been effected to them from the sides of the city, and they had been incited to sedition, they would certainly have brought it to pass, with none but a brief delay. And yet they had already covenanted with Allah not to turn their backs, and a covenant with Allah must surely be answered for. Say, Running away will not profit you if ye are running away from death or slaughter. And even if ye do escape, no more than a brief respite will ye be allowed to enjoy. Say, Who is it that can screen you from Allah if it be his wish to give you punishment or to give mercy? nor will they find for themselves, besides Allah, any protector or helper. Verily, Allah knows those among you who keep back men and those who say to their brethren, Come along to us, but come not to the fight except for just a little while. covetous over you. Then when fear comes, thou wilt see them looking to thee, their eyes revolving, like one who faints from death. But when the fear is past, they will smite you with sharp tongues, covetous of goods. Such men have no faith, and so Allah has made their deeds of none effect, and that is easy for Allah. They think that the Confederates have not withdrawn, and if the Confederates should come again, they would wish they were in the deserts wandering among the Bedouins and seeking news about you from a safe distance. And if they were in your midst, they would fight but little. Ye have indeed in the Messenger of Allah an excellent exemplar from him who hopes in Allah and the final day, and who remembers Allah. When the believers saw the Confederate forces, they said, This is what Allah and his Messenger had promised us, and Allah and his Messenger told us what was true. And it only added to their faith and their zeal in obedience. Among the believers are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah. Of them some have died and some still wait, but they have never changed their determination in the least.
that Allah may reward the men of truth for their truth, and punish the hypocrites if that be his will, or turn to them in mercy. For Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. And Allah turned back the unbelievers for all their fury. No advantage did they gain. And enough is Allah for the believers in their fight. And Allah is full of strength, exalted in might. And those of the people of the book who aided them, Allah did take them down from their strongholds and cast terror into their hearts, so that some ye slew and some ye made captives. And he made you heirs of their lands, their houses, and their goods, and of a land which he had not frequented before. And Allah has power over all things. O Prophet, say to thy consorts, If it be that ye desire the life of this world and its glitter, then come. I will provide for your enjoyment and set you free in a handsome manner. But if ye seek Allah and his messenger and the home of the hereafter, verily Allah has prepared for the well-doers amongst you a great reward. O consorts of the Prophet, if any of you were guilty of evident unseemly conduct, the punishment would be doubled to her, and that is easy for Allah. 